Okay, so here's a follow-up video of the Discovery ED PRS 5B25 B56 Zero Stop Side Parallax Scope. Now we did the unboxing in an earlier video. And you get plenty of extras with the scope. You know, well packaged. So after a month of use, how does the scope fare? Well, let's find out. So the scope had been put through its paces on the rim fire, centre fire, and even on a PCP air rifle. Uh, that didn't work out too well for me. Uh, more on that later. Now I captured the scope footage through the Commander MV100 just to try and show you the sight picture. There's the Christmas tree style rectangle. Now users of the Commander MV100 will be happy to know the unit works perfectly with the Discovery ED. Now the Discovery rectangle, plenty of old over points. That's one tenth of a mil. First focal plane rectangle. Uh, magnification on the Discovery is 5x25. It's nice middle ground for rim fire and centre fire magnifications. Now just a quick target shoot using the style. Now 60 yard targets shooting from low magnifications to mid to full on magnification. Now these rabbits were taken at dusk in low light. Again, clear bright optics from the Discovery. Worked a treat on the CZ style. Now okay, on to the BSAR-10. Now just to show on how the scope leveller works. Uh, pretty simple really. And you simply slide the base plate onto the Picatinny rail. And you slide the leveller onto the base. As you can see directly underneath the scope's main body. And yeah, the scope is not level. So it's just a simple turn of the scope until it sits flat on the sliding leveller. And then just simply secure the scope. And you have a bang level scope. No need for any spirit levels. Simple. But it actually works. That's surprisingly how the scope looks when not mounted to a rifle. It does look quite large. But yeah, when mounted it's very well but again especially on a 12 foot pound air rifle the parallax will hold you back now unless you're shooting out to 20 plus yards you'll be fine but as you will see shortly on a crow shoot 15 yards max you will be limited in closer ranges so do bear that in mind ideally not for air rifle this scope now three sunshades supplied two identical sizes and one large uh, these can all be attached all as one but why would you do this is beyond me but yeah if you're lacking in a certain department by all means attach all three at the same time now i did find using the discovery ed on the pcp was quite a challenge uh, most distances i shoot was 15 to around about 18 19 yards now the scope's minimum parallax is actually 20 yards so many opportunities with the pcp rifle was well under uh, the parallax settings and the sight picture was blurred but hey that was my misjudgment and not an error of the scope now where the scope does excel is either on rim fire and center fire being a first focal plane scope, they're ideal for longer range shooting. Now the 0.223 at 200 yards, 
which is a few target shoots where the zero stop works then it's a one tenth mil dot are accurate out at ranges if you are one to dial in your shots So, at a low to mid price range optic overall, how did the optic perform? Now for the price, the Discovery offers some nice extras. You've got sunshades, the throw lever, also mounts included, and that's a pretty exceptional value. Moving on to the scope itself, first focal plane, good magnification, and it's got a sharp, clear sight picture. Multi-coated optics, work fine with the commander nv100 so if you do have a let's say a pod 007 it will work well with this scope the turrets are positive the illuminated rectangle again works as it should now the scope is ideal for rim fire and center fire even more so if you're into dialing in those long distance shots and using the zero lock to its full potential so overall a well-made scope from discovery it's got some nice features that you would see on higher price models uh, whereas the discovery scope comes in at a fraction of the cost so overall a very well made scope from discovery excellent mm -hmm.